Yeah, I'm part of the bar, iron bar. We have it over a hole, so there's no ground for it. So, it's like this much. And then the other part of the bar, we're using the same amount. Velocity coming back the other way. 
okay, and may have an effect. Again, more high carbon steel. Here, the explosive wave can continue. Okay, it has a medium for it to travel until it just it loses its power. Okay, for in this case, again, very important that we have simultaneous detonations of both charges. They had their good CIA nuts on both ends. We just opted to do this. I'm going to show them how to attach this with one system, okay, with a square knot. You guys know how to make square knots. I'll just show you guys real quick. In this case, we determined that right here, the bulk of them is equal length. Okay, to get a square knot through the loop, all I got to do is take this bad boy, bring it up through my loop, around it, and then back through, following itself, and I got a square knot. Okay, I, don't I don't have to have two running ends to make a square knot. I'm going to do that. You're going to do that. Steel cable, so you see it. There's measures at one and a half inches. We have one block of TNT and we have two blocks of TNT. Both opposing. Just designed to cut. With a one and a half inch steel cable, our calculations came out to two pounds. We're attempting to see if the booger eaters are correct or not. Uh, we took one wafer out, we put a Uli knot in the deck cord, stuffed it in, packed deck cord around it, repacked it. Okay, normally if we wanted to de defeat cable, it's probably cables, cables used for suspension and fucking them holding weight, right? Not bearing weight, but suspending weight in air. Okay, so it's under tension. In this case, it's just lying on the deck. All right, we're going to see what kind of effect we got. Like he said, okay, we got a little bit more, more than an inch. Oh, an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half. Okay, inch and a half, that calls for two pounds of TNT, okay? That's that's what the damn demo card calls for. What we're gonna do, just because we can, is see is what kind of effect just one pound will do. Yeah, it's not under stress, it's not suspended, but like I said, hey, you know, that old day. Let's, let's see what kind of effect one block of TNT will do, or like he said, the booger eaters were right on the money with two pounds. Okay? Any questions? Okay, please do not step on the deck board. Okay. Okay. Well, what we got here uh, is a uh, two inch, a one and a half inch steel diameter rod over there. Uh, for this uh, two inch rod, we uh, got a uh, one, one stick of M112 uh, C4, cut it in half, uh, put a sensitized dead cord on both ends opposing. The desired effect we're trying to get here was for the shock waves to go down this way, reflect at 90 degree angles, and split this, uh, this rod in half. Uh, on that one over there, we have a uh, spiral on top of the uh, just a half pound, I mean half half a block of uh, M112. We're trying to get the desired effect of just blasting it straight down. And uh, that's about it. Okay, we got here rods, okay, two rods, steel rods. Again, high carbon steel, high alloy steel, okay? For these guys, if you calculate for TNT, for this guy, all he needs is one block, right? Over here, possibly two blocks. This is what one and a half? Mm -hmm. Came out to our TNT. Oh, for TNT. Right. But for C4. But we got a higher detonation velocity and higher RE factor for uh, damn C4, right? More exactly, more brisance. So we may not need as much. Here we go. <laughs> Hey, can we learn as much from a damn a failed charge or failed breach as we can from one successful? Oh, yeah. We learn more, right? We actually learn more. Okay. This was just TNT, right? Two pounds. Okay. What's neat about this sucker is, and they're hot. You can tell that this is the one. 
that has the damn two stacks of TNT on it. It just doesn't have, this is a high carbon steel, probably a better design for your mild steels, right? You can see where, and was it suspended? I don't remember. It was just flat on the ground? No, it was suspended. It was suspended. It's slightly elevated. Okay, you can see where it wanted to do something to it, but unfortunately, this fucking high carbon steel just had a little too much ass behind it. Okay, and you can see where they tried to split it over here, right? Yeah, it's got a little fucking damn curve to it. Sections. Okay, beautiful guys, I need you guys to really pay attention to this. Okay? Here's where they were not necessarily right. We have a higher detonation velocity with the damn C4, right? Very croissant. Okay, it detonates. It doesn't necessarily burn as slow as anything else we use, right? The acoustic impedance mismatch worked very well, but it worked equally as well when we just had a damn explosive medium going straight through. Now, later on next time, we're going to see how much further down we can cut back on it. We may not need it necessarily a full M112 block, right? At one point, this thing is going to start to resist it. You know, wouldn't it be nice to know how much? Okay, so now what this can tell us is if you see this again, okay, and you uh, whip out your damn card and you decide, fuck, you know, I really don't need to make all that shit, you know, that damn saddle charge. And I was a pain in the ass to begin with. Why don't I just slap two fucking M1, or yeah, a half of a M1 block or, or whatnot. Okay, excellent example of the effects on target of a detonation, right? Smalling, cracking, indentation. <laughs> Cut them in half in both places. Kind of nice to know, huh? Sweet. It works. This is a very high carbon, high alloy steel. Which part of this bad boy will use for me? Can somebody stretch that one out for me? Bring that in around. That part was like that. You can this guy's split. Grab this one as a duck. Okay. It was under tension. It was under tension. One pound might have worked. Here we can see where it insured it very nicely, right? What does this represent right here? That's what it says. Fucking all explosive. Explosive shock waves travel in 90 degree angles, right? So check it out. This bad boy started this way. Okay? Here's my two damn points of initiation, right? It started this way. When it collided, okay, 90 degree angles, it fucking wants to go this way and then this way. Okay? That's what happened when those shock waves hit. It went, one went down, the other one went straight up, dissipated in the open space. And then the groovy part was we got the desired effects when the shockwaves also went this way and that way. 90 degrees, right? Remember that shit when it comes down to doing different projects, okay? How can I defeat this shit? Put your fucking G2 together. Think things through and see how you can make explosives work for you, okay? And we... We had the two opposite opposing the MC4 on this one. And over here we had, what the hell did we have? Just, just, a, half, half, oh, just a half a block. block. Half a block on top of it. All right. Well, this is just, just suspended. It's just about a little bit suspended right here. Check. For this guy, we called it about an inch, right? Slightly more. Inch and a half. For TNT, it, all it required was the damn it would have required two blocks of TNT, two one-pound blocks, to cut this bad boy in half. And, and for the most part, probably opposite opposing like we've done. I think we would have, if we would have done the same thing we did over there with this, we would have got the same effect. One half block, was it a half? Of M112 C4 was enough to do it. It works in some, some cases, not in all. Okay, TNT didn't do it over there, C4 did do it here. Of course, that was thicker. But the C4 didn't do shit over here. Again, we prove where the guys with the white schmucks can be right. 
We've also proven that, hey, we don't have to do it their way all the time, right? Generally, if we stick to the damn demo card and do it the way they said to do it, we're pretty much always going to be right. But that doesn't mean that we don't have to try it something else. I think, I, I think that's the, the, the best value of what we did out here, right? Anybody have anything you want?